Good morning and welcome to this very special service for Sunday, July 11th, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost from Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in beautiful Bellevue, Washington. For 16 months now, we've worshiped together differently. As we've stayed united as a people of praise in this terrible time of the COVID-19 pandemic. On most Sundays until recently, when we've hosted our first in-person outdoor worship, we've pre-recorded services a few days ahead of the upcoming Sunday, most of the time on Wednesday evenings, and shared those recorded services with you via our Cross of Christ YouTube channel. Including all the Sunday services beginning March 8th of last year, and special worship experiences for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, the Wednesdays in Lent, Thanksgiving Eve with our Interfaith Covenant community, and more, we've recorded and broadcast some 70 services. Thanks be to God and to our small but faithful worship recording team. As we've now hosted four outdoor in-person worship services with three more planned over the summer, and as we prayerfully and hopefully continue to target September 12th as our first indoor here in the sanctuary service, we still have a handful more pre-recorded services planned, including this one, during which we are excited to share with you some of the wonderful, creative, beautiful, worshipful music that has enhanced our recorded services during this time. We hope you are not only going to enjoy, but will be blessed by each of the dozen or so songs and hymns and musical offerings that make up most of our worship service today. A sort of best of, reflection and resharing of the talents of many within our congregation and beyond. Martin Luther said, next to the word of God, the noble art of music is the greatest treasure in the world. When sacred music is based on God's word and shares God's creativity and beauty and lifts up our souls in praise of the Lord, we are truly close to the angels who sing alleluias without ceasing around the throne of God. So welcome to this music-filled worship service, Welcome back, virtually, to the many musicians who have helped us worship during this past almost year and a half now. And welcome all, as we praise God from whom all blessings flow. Our first set of songs highlight some of our own member and staff musicians. Beginning with Cantorai, our choir, who will lead us once more in one of the most beloved musical moments of the church year, the singing of Silent Night by Candlelight from Christmas Eve 2020. Like Sundays before the pandemic and those that will come after, most of our worship during this time has also included congregational singing. So next, we'll invite you to sing once more with Director of Worship and Music Ministries, Ben Fowler, accompanied by our organist, Dean Robinson, who helped bring us into worship on March 21st of this year with the opening hymn, Lift High the Cross. Then we'll hear from Cantorai again, sharing part of their stirring cantata from this past Monday Thursday, Colors of Grace. Finally, in this opening segment, Ben will return as we listen again to one of the many lovely recordings he made from his home. This one, the gorgeous contemporary praise song, The Sun Will Rise. And now we worship together through music. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them the light has shined. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
nature. I am gentle and humble in heart. Whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Be clothed with humility, for God gives grace to the humble. Take the yoke of humility and learn. It is afternoon on the hill called Golgotha. Pierced for our sins, crushed for our iniquities, the teacher hangs suspended on a cross. Although his body is suffused with pain, his heart overflows with grace as he cries, Father, forgive them for they do not understand what they are doing. Darkness shrouds the earth as the sun hides its face in sorrow, and the sky grows black as midnight. springs from the ground the sun will rise the sun will rise won't you dry all your tears lay your burden down won't you dry all your tears lay your burden down the sun will rise the sun 
sun will rise, bringing life to the earth as it springs from the ground. The sun will rise, the sun will rise. Won't you dry all your tears, lay your burden down? Won't you dry all your tears, lay your burden down? Let us pray. Loving Lord, we join the songs of the heavenly choir and the praise of all creation in lifting our hearts to you today, especially in sacred music. Thank you for the gift of musicians, singers and songwriters, organists and bell ringers, composers and conductors, instrumentalists and choirs. May our hearts be filled with the song of your praise today and every day. For you alone are worthy of all glory, laud, and honor. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our next songs come from guest musicians who have added to our worship during this time. Sammy Gorham is well known to most Cross of Christ members. She frequently joins us to enhance our musical offerings, both prior to and during the pandemic. Sammy blessed us early on in our time of separation on Easter Sunday, 2020, with a gorgeous rendition of Handel's, I Know That My Redeemer Liveth. One year later, on this past Easter Sunday, tenor Rob McPherson also stirred us to worship the living Lord as Dean accompanied him on Jesus Christ is Risen Today. And this Palm Sunday, former Cross of Christ member and my longtime friend from Arizona, Sherry Rosenberg, who with her husband Scott has recently moved to Nashville, sang with us as we recorded a service for that Palm Sunday while she was revisiting Bellevue, leading us in all glory, laud, and honor.
Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The peace of the risen Lord be with you. And also with you. Our worship continues with our opening hymn.
Psalm 147 encourages us to sing to the Lord with grateful praise, make music to our God. In music, we are able to express our praise, thanksgiving, and faith. And through music, we are able to hear God speak to us. Other than prayer, there is no better language by which we communicate and commune with the divine than music. Our next set of songs comes from some of our collaborative worship experiences. Sharing recorded worship with other ELCA Lutheran congregations of our cluster of churches in Bellevue, Issaquah, Sammamish, and North Bend, and from our Thanksgiving Eve virtual gathering shared with our interfaith covenant friends of St. Louis Catholic Parish, Temple Banai Torah Reformed Jewish Congregation, and Episcopal Church of the Resurrection. Cross of Christ was honored to take the lead on both of the shared cluster services, the first in July of last year, and then again for Reformation Sunday, as well as for the Thanksgiving Eve virtual gathering with our interfaith friends and neighbors. The congregations of those joint efforts shared in creating music for the event, including Cross of Christ. Here are some of the things that we were able to share. First, from Ben's very talented daughters, Aria, Karas, Cadence, and Selah, saying, from our sanctuary, the scripture song for the first cluster service. They will share with us, speak, O Lord. And then on Reformation Sunday, Dean on organ played a powerful introduction to a mighty fortress, followed by singers from the participating congregations, led off by Ben, Sammy, and guests, and then watch for Ben's return on a contemporary take of one of the verses as he sings and plays guitar, and Sammy too with a decidedly classical take on the final verse, with Colin ringing handbells off camera. Isn't musical variety a gift itself? Our next piece is from our director of Carillon, our handbell choir, and our congregational president, and the editor and producer of these three collaborative services, and all of our recorded worship services, Colin Walker, ringing on camera this time in one of Cross of Christ's contribution for the Thanksgiving Eve virtual gathering, Canticle of Joy, with Cross of Christ member Stephanie Altenator joining on oboe. Collaboration, harmonization, creativity, and flexibility. Music has taught us a lot during this time and has helped us stay connected with God, with one another, and with treasured partners. Enjoy these musical collaborations once more. truth planted deep in us shape and fashion us in your likeness that the light of Christ might be seen today in our acts of love and our deeds of faith speak O Lord and fulfill
As we give thanks to God for Ben, for our musician members, for musicians in our community, we also thank you 
who support the music ministries and all the ministries of Cross of Christ in so many ways, including with your financial gifts. During this time, and especially on Sundays like today, when we're not offering an in-person service, you can continue to make your offerings that continue to allow us to offer recorded and on-campus worship, and all the growing, sharing, serving, and welcoming ministries of Cross of Christ as well, by mailing your check to the church, by dropping your offering envelope in our safe, locked Dropbox mailbox in the church parking lot, by giving online, and by connecting with Denise Fuentes, our bookkeeper, who can help you set up automated giving. Thank you. And thanks now to our organist, Dean Robinson, who shares these next musical offerings, which highlight Dean's skill, versatility, and passion for helping us worship through classical music. Thanks also to another longtime friend, organist Gordon Brown, who upon retiring and moving to Florida, donated his harpsichord to Cross of Christ, which Dean plays masterfully as he did on Reformation Sunday, a piece written for that instrument by Johann Sebastian Bach, which we'll listen to again first, followed by an organ selection, which Dean chose as one of his favorites to share with you in this best of service. Enjoy. Thank you for joining us in worship this week. Again, we sincerely hope that you were blessed by this best of service of music. Next Sunday, July 18th, we'll share with you a brand new recorded worship service. And the following Sunday, July 25th, is our next scheduled on-campus, in-person, outdoor worship at 10 a.m. We'll revisit a wonderful closing hymn, On Our Way Rejoicing, with Sammy once again leading us from our recorded worship service of September 20th of last year. That will be followed by our sung benediction from Mosaic, our band, who led a service filled with the music of the Tizé community and tradition. Ben and I were joined in Mosaic on July 21st of 2020 by Bonnie Bowie, Emily, and Mark Bittemeyer as we sang and played Benedictus. And now, let us pray. God, to whom the saints and angels sing with the cosmos joining in unending chorus, 
fill our hearts with songs of gratitude as we joyfully sing your praise and share your message of grace through music and through the songs of our lives lived in faith. Bless us with a happy melody this day and lift us by your song of love for us. Grant us the gift of singing together in the praise of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we gather, we worship, and we are sent. Amen. said, as I have been sent, so also I send you. By God's grace, through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, we are called to worship God, grow in faith, share the gospel, serve others, welcome all. Thanks be to God. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my soul, this cornerstone. This solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm, what heights of love. 
what depths of peace when fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all. Here in the love of Christ, I stand in Christ alone. Took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless babe, this gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on that cross as Jesus died, the wrath of God was satisfied for every sin on him was laid here in the death of Christ I live there in the ground his body lay light of the wound by time Precious blood of Christ first cry to find home breath Jesus commands my destiny no power of hell no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home here in the power of Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand.